Oh man, it's February, and when February happens, something happens in my brain, and you know what it is? It gets triggered for shed antler hunting. Let's talk about shed antler hunting today and a new tool that I've got and I've been using the last couple years that really makes shed antler hunting a lot easier. It's the electric fat tire bike. Let's go into this and I'll show you how you can pick up more sheds and cover more ground with an e-bike for your shed hunting. Your most successful shed hunting starts early you need to figure out where the deer are feeding and where they're bedding in the winter. They're going to be bunched up around the available food and the more snow there is the more that's the case. So here in the upper Midwest when we typically have a lot of snow the deer can really be bunched up around cornfields, uh, any kind of crops that are still in the field, any kind of uh, food that's available like willows in bottom areas and, and the areas where they can get good access to browse. So there'll be pretty distinct trails between those feeding areas and the bedding areas and that's where you're going to find your sheds. So you want to figure that out before you ever start shed hunting. Typically the most sheds drop between the middle of February and the middle of March. There's some before and some after that but that's typically when the vast majority of them fall off. So that's your best time to be shed hunting and that's typically the time when the snow is melting off but the tracks and trails are still very distinguishable so that's what you want to do is follow those tracks and trails and uh, the bike is a huge advantage in that um, not only just following the trails but also covering a lot of ground if the deer are feeding in corn stubble for example man those sheds could be anywhere out there so the bike enables you to cover a lot of ground a whole lot faster. One of the biggest advantages of the bike is it'll get you back into areas that most people don't go. A lot of public lands, BLM lands and uh, uh, Army Corps lands will have maintenance roads that are basically just two tracks that go way back in to these public hunting areas and uh, they, they use them to maintain areas and also uh, plant food plots and stuff like that and a lot of deer feel pretty safe back in there so they winter back in there this bike gets you past closed gates on a lot of areas you'll need to check with your state laws for wildlife management areas and state and county areas but in general the bike is legal in a lot of areas but that's in a continual state of change as the state game departments are trying to deal with the growth of the number of people using these bikes so it'll get you back into places in a hurry that not that many people go to and I like saddlebags on my bike too because it helps me haul the sheds out easier than carrying a backpack and so forth you'll want to concentrate on these areas where these deer are feeding and where they're bedding and then there'll be trails between and I can't emphasize this enough because during the winter, particularly if the weather's harsh, there's snow on the ground, their entire lives revolve around making sure they get those carbohydrates and proteins every day, and they're very predictable. The paths are very easy to find. That's what you're going to look for, and just spend your time walking through the bedding areas and um, you know, hunting those trails and feeding areas on the bike. A lot of big advantages to the using the bike. You can cover ground so much faster and that almost has to be experienced to really understand how important that is but once you get out there and do this you will think holy smokes I got a huge advantage over everybody else by using these bikes. So give it a try even if you have to rent one first there's places that will rent these bikes and just give this a try I guarantee you uh, you'll want to buy one because they are a big advantage not just in hunting but also in shed hunting. I know that you'll find that having a Baku e-bike can help your hunting in so many different ways in deer hunting and checking trail cameras and in shed hunting and all the things that you do outdoors with relation to hunting. They're a fantastic tool and this is a great special going on right now with this code in the description below. So thanks for joining me. I hope this has helped you and we'll see you next week.